Something a little bit more dynamic now. We've got ab wheel roll out. Probably every boxing gym has probably got one of these, but if not, they're about five, 10 pounds on Amazon or something like that. So a really good exercise, but often it's performed incorrectly. I'm gonna go through a few coaching cues now to make sure that you get this right. So I want you to grab the ab wheel. And I want you to just do roll out just normal. <clears throat> Good. Yeah, Matt has probably got it spot on straight away, just a few little tweaks. So a main thing that I'm likely to see when they do the roll out is that they're likely to drop in that lower back. Remember, this is the anti-extension exercise, so we want to resist this extension. We want to keep that rib cage locked down, that core switched on. Also, you want to keep your hips involved all the time and not go through that full range of motion. I'm going to show you reasons why now. So let's go 80-20 my. So if you just start on this line here and just finish just shy of the line there, through here, if we go too long with our rollouts, our core might not be able to withstand that tension and your lower back starts to take over. So if you work between that mid-range there, you're likely to keep like, activating your core slow, solely and not look to supercompensate anywhere else. So let's go from this line here, three quarters there. Keep your hips involved there, good. So when you come back, don't let your hips come back first, good. Keep your shoulders pinned back too. Start over it, good. You should feel that a lot more in your core now. Good. So, like, you've probably been told before, let's try and go down as far as we can, and that's a challenge. And maybe if you do small reps like that, you know, I've put it on uh, social media before, people are asking why they're only doing half reps. And the reason why is because we're keeping that tension solely going through the core. <coughs> 